Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. Today, we are going to be finishing the game. First thing we're going to do is we're going to create the map that this area leads to. Okay, so here we have our new map. This is a uh, entryway which follows up from the last map. It goes up to this big castle here with a. Uh, it's going to be our king, and this is going to be the end game. He's going to ask us if we would like to join the knighthood, and it's going to present us with two options, and those options are going to play out the ending of our game. And this is how we have multiple endings purely on this uh, one decision here. So first of all, we just have a simple NPC here, and he's just got some text. We are going to create a multiple ending, and the way we're going to do this is with show choices, yes, no. When yes, we want to control a switch, which is it's switch number one, we're just gonna name it night, click OK, operation on. When no, control switches, operation, Control, control switches, number two, operation on, betrayal. So when yes, we're gonna flip the switch. Switch number one, which is called night. Uh, we're gonna show some text here. And what we're gonna do here is fade out the screen. And we're gonna create a scrolling text. After Harold was knighted, he kept on protecting the lands of, until his death. And then that's going to be the end of the game. So we want the game to end. And we're just going to go return to title screen. When no, Betrayer is on. This is going to be a different path. Well, I can't have you living with this type of power without being my knight. And he's going to scream for his guards. And at this point, we're going to pretend a battle's going on. Um, obviously, you can do a battle if you want, but for this purpose, we're just going to... Uh, simulates it by fading out the screen, show scrolling text. Harold overthrew the king and his guardsmen and is now living in the castle as his own ruler. And then we can have a return to title screen. So, just to recap, we have show choices. Uh, when yes, 
if he wants to join the knighthood. It could sit, it's, it flips switch number one and turns it on. And then this will play. If not, it's going to flip the switch number two. In this scenario, these switches aren't necessary because all we're doing is showing some text and fading out the screen. And that's, you know, that's saying the, the game is over. In a different scenario, those switches could then uh, work with something like this. So if we've got a new event and we have switch here, conditions one, knight. Right, so now we've become a knight. We can, you know, do everything under this one knight pathway. And these switches are global. Self switches are for a specific event. And we also have multiple switches that we can use at once. But this switch, let's say this was like a flip switch. We could do everything here. We could change the tile set, change, but you know, any of these events can play off from that specific choice. But in this case, all we're doing is ending the game. So it's really not necessary. But that's just a, a bit of insight if you want to have a branching story, but only have like uh, specific quests for a specific path line. You know, think of it as Skyrim, but like your choices actually matter rather than, you know, how Skyrim actually is. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen, we have made a game and, you know, it could be a short game, could be a long game. We have uh, two major quests. This guy here, he's going to give us two quests. He's going to say, hey, there's like a monster here, there's a monster here, go kill them for me, thank you. And we also have a town where this lady really needs a potion because she's sick. And we have an inn where we can buy stuff. We have a save station. We have treasure chests. We have bosses. Uh, we have cutscenes. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this series. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see a specific type of series. One that's not using maybe the default tile set, maybe something else. I would more than happily love to make something like that. Before we end this series though, we are going to complete the intro and we are also going to create an outro cutscene. So let's do that now.
Okay, so here we have our final cutscene with our multiple choice ending. Uh, we have a cutscene where the player walks up, the camera pans, the player stops, and then the king walks down, and he plays this. It gives us two options of joining his knighthood or overthrowing him. And yeah, that's our game. So we have our intro, which is just a blank screen, and uh, some scrolling text. Then we come, come to our overworld, we have this old man who gives us two quests. One of go killing the dungeon creature, two of go killing the forest creature, and after that he says we need to go see the king, which adds another quest for us. At that point we head into the town, and we have our inn where we can buy stuff. We also have this woman here who gives us a quest, which we do or do not have to do. Uh, we, we have a blank house here, another blank house here, a tent with a secret, a safe station, and if we go to the next part, we'll play another cutscene where we fight this guy. And as mentioned previously, he is undefeatable. So obviously we're going to change that now. We're just going to make him very strong, but not undefeatable. So he has a max HP of 2000 and an attack of 100. So after we level up from killing those bosses, we should be able to beat him. You know what, let's give him 3000. I feel like we'll be able to take that. Hit rate of 95%, evasion rate of 5. Pretty simple stuff and a lot of XP and a lot of gold. So that is our game. We have cutscenes, we have NPCs and quests, we have standard enemies and dungeons and bosses, we have an intro, we have an outro, and we also have a multiple choice ending. So yeah, that is it for this series. I really want you guys to let me know in the comments if you liked it, you enjoyed it if you learn anything most importantly and what you would like to see in the future please let me know and give me some ideas on some series the next episode we're going to be playing this game and completing it so please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one